This time, my interview is with Nawab Khan. Nawab Khan, who plays the main lead in the film, Anari is back. He talks about the film, the people that he worked with, and many more things. So let's have a listen and see what he says. Congratulations on your film, Anari is back. Um, obviously, it's a great opportunity to have um, the main lead. Um, tell me this now, Khan. Uh, when did you realize that you wanted to do something in the entertainment industry? Now, I, I think I that hit me when I was around nine or ten or something. I was watching the movie Harry Potter. And there was this girl popping up into it called uh, Emma Watson. And I was like, no, nah, no matter what's going to happen, I'm going to get into the movie industry and I'm going to get to marry that girl. Uh, that wasn't just the idea, but I was a big fan of the Harry Potter series. When I saw him and all of these children being in the movie, I always thought of myself being in some sort of magical world where there's all wizards and wands mm -hmm. and magic. <laughs> and be part of that school. So I said, no matter what happens as a child, it gets in the back of your head. You just want to, I'll do whatever it takes. So then I realized that it's all sets and they're all actors. And like, you know, mm. uh, when I realized it really broke me and shattered me, but then I was like, still, I was like, it doesn't matter. I still want to be part of that school. <laughs> uh, I want to be a magician and I want to be a wizard. And one thing led to another. Believe it or not, I was just one of those kids who just would not give up on that. You know, see, I mm. said, I'll take two things at the same time. I'll make my parents happy at one side, doing what they want me to do. And then I'm going to do whatever I want to do. You know, so I pursued that one. Mm. And uh, that's what I always wanted. That was just the only thing that I always wanted to do was just be different from the rest of the crowd. You know, like mm. uh, we'd say there'd be a, a singer coming over to perform and I wouldn't be one of the audience to just sit in the audience mm. and go like, well, I just said, no, why am I not on the stage? You know, I deserve that. I want to entertain people. I want people to laugh at my jokes. I want mm. them to cry when I'm crying. Uh, talking about the film, Anari is Back, um, obviously, um, you, from what I've gathered, uh, this role that was given to you, um, you were, uh, they found you through TikTok. And yeah. um, obviously, from what you've said previously in other interviews, that um, the, they had to coach you. Uh, but tell me this, how much has this film changed your life? And how, and how has that motivated you as an actor? Like, what will you do now that you've, what will you do now since you've been given this opportunity to do films in Bollywood? Well, that's a good question. I, um, uh... I'm actually looking forward, uh, to be really honest, see, it's, it's, it's the first time uh, when I got uh, a, a big shot like this, something of a big catch, they would call it back in Bollywood, mm -hmm. is that there are more than thousands and millions of actors out there in Bombay and in Delhi, and they all come in one place, and there are like mm -hmm. auditions and castings happening everywhere around the place and it's really tough for somebody to like bag in a role like this you know for me to be lucky to be picked off TikTok at that mm. time where it was going crazy and TikTok was trending number one all over the world but like most of the audience was just from India and all of that pressure was coming from India and they were going crazy about it you know they just they're like stars after stars after stars were all these people who were from tiktok and they would mm. pick up big projects and even celebrities would come to them to mm. the, their promotions because they had like this bunch of audience mm. so uh i got lucky i guess i got lucky at that time that i, I was approached by the producer mm -hmm. and they told me that they, they have something like this in mind it wasn't the only actor out there there was other uh, actors as well who wanted to play for the role, so they came for the casting. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end, since I was, of course, the producer's favorite, I think I had the upper hand on being picked. And then when I got mm -hmm. there, I was like looking at the other actors and like they're doing a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. uh, when I saw their auditions, Brian, I was like, I, I'm, I just want to give up. And oh. I, I looked at them, I was like, nah, it's not happening. I know, I'm going to be a great actor. I know I can act. Well, I've done a lot of music videos, for those of you who don't yeah. know much. I have done, like, over 120 music videos in Punjab and in Bollywood. And I've done with great stars and great singers. The best part about that was, Diana, that I did not have to speak 
and there was no speak and roll, you know, it's all music video, the music's playing in the background, you just have to act the expressions or you're with the other actors and you're working. So it was much more easier. So when I got in the movie, I was like, what's the big deal? What's going to happen? Well, just have to speak. But then when I realized you have to remember your lines and then you have to uh, respond to other people's reactions, you know, like when they're, when mm-hmm. they're doing their lines, you can't mm-hmm. just look at them in the eyes. You, know? mm-hmm. you got to express yeah. what they're saying. It's a, somebody saying something bad, you should feel bad about it. Or somebody saying uh, something very interesting, you should be focused on mm-hmm. listening to it. You know, like all of that was new to me. The language was new to me. The, uh, the accent was new to me because there was that you were characters from Lucknow. Mm. And he's supposed to have this 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 accent that they have in Lucknow, and it was all tough. It took a while. All, uh, on top of it, they had dance classes where I was really unfamiliar with, and I, I was very uncomfortable with because <laughs> uh, dancing. I know it was part of the Bollywood dream or whatever it was, but I was never prepared for all of this. And this suddenly, when it hits you, like you gotta dance, you gotta act, you gotta mm. speak. Got very mm. comfortable. Got on the set. Was really. Uh, pressurize it but then at the end uh it got comfortable and i got used to it and now i'm looking forward to doing another one but obviously like you said um you got selected um regardless of still needing coaching how did that feel that regardless that you struggled in some aspect or in a lot of aspects but they still picked picked you how did how did that feel superior (laughs) 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 wrong word to pick up right now you see, uh, nothing, nothing is such because now we're in other countries, the West, right? But the Western mm. country has a different mind and mentality, yeah. the way they think about things. But if you think of it from a perspective of an Indian mind, in India, they would have taken racism very lightly in a way, and now it became a part of their culture. I don't know if you know, most of their songs, they refer to girls as Gori, which mm. means white, and mm. a guy as Gora, which means white. And uh, mm-hmm. so that thing, like they have all these fairness commercials, right? But where, where there was more of a culture. And I, I, I'm relating this to what I'm going to say now is that I wasn't just going to go like only my genetics and the way I look uh, kind of helped me get in there. Yes, it was part of my town. 50% of my hard work in town, and God knows what I've been through. But um, the genetic part and the way I look, according to the character, that he was supposed to be tall, uh, fair, and muscular kind of gave me the upper hand i would say but the, the other mm. actors did a wonderful job they were doing method acting and they were mm. doing a wonderful job with those mm. way i would say i i, I put up 88 or maybe 90 percent of all of my talent into, into that one mm. little audition piece that i had but these guys were more than 100 i'd say even more than 100 mm. and they just just killed it i looked at them and i was like i wish i was like 10 percent of that but then um when they trained me later on, I realized that in India, it's just this just, just, just unfair thing that's going on mm. with the rest of the actors is about that if you are tall and you're fair and you're muscular, it's yeah. the upper hand you have on the other actors who are not in shape. You know, yeah. who, who has to struggle even more to that, who doesn't get mm. anything easy, who mm. are not called your hero, you know, like yeah. all of that. Yeah. As you said, you had to be, you had to, prepare a lot like for example learn the language learn how to dance learn how to act what was the most challenging aspect what was the toughest aspect of it all i think the dancing was the worst one is because you you would come back home you can't feel your legs anymore you're out of breath i didn't know that Mm. you have you need to have like so much a great level of stamina to dance mm. for like a good 10 20 because it wasn't 10 20 minutes when you're on the set and we were shooting this one part of the song we shot that for at least two days and two days you go in the morning you have choreography and then you have room you have choreography and then after in the evening you have another one and then yeah. before you get on the set everybody's going to do a rehearsal and then another rehearsal and you got to do the entire thing Maybe uh-huh. somebody does something wrong in the background, and somebody uh-huh. the, the actress makes a mistake, goes, "Oh, maybe I make." You have to repeat that thing all over again and uh-huh. again and again. We were wearing all these shoes and the boots; some of them were not comfortable. Uh-huh. And uh, when I was in the studio doing the choreography, the dancers were like, "It's simple. You you, you just you just let them do this." And, and I was like, "I have no idea what you guys are doing." I you have no lessons before. I'm like, no, nothing. And he was moving his body as like it was mm. like a worm or something. I'm like, I can't do all that stuff. For you guys, it's easy because you've been doing it since when? Oh, when I was six years old. I was like, yeah, well, I'm, 
I'm I'm, I'm 30. I can't do all of that. <laughs> so uh, it was the toughest part was the dancing. Everything else was quite easy. The action, the um, the acting part, and picking up the accent was quite uh-huh. easy. I did uh-huh. I did put a lot of effort into it, but I think it was uh-huh. much easier for me to catch them with dancing. Uh-huh. Okay. Obviously, you were privileged to have like actors like Matan. You had Anil Kapoor and you had um, Shakti Kapoor, who like a lot of people love, and they are they're even considered as legends. So, how was it working with them? What was the experience like? Oh, it was crazy. I I said uh, before about all this that. When I got on the set the first time, and the guy's like, uh, oh, we've casted all these stars. And I was like, it's going to be easy. I'm just going to walk in and just pretend that I'm one of them. And I'm going to feel normal. The minute mm-hmm. I walked in and I saw Mithun over there dressed up all the way as this Muslim guy, I was, first, I was flabbergasting. I couldn't say anything. I was nervous. And I was like, God, this is Mithun. What am I going to do? And I, I could say I wanted to shake hand or hug him or I, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. Yeah. I, was, I was lost, you know, what am I doing? Yeah. And then he sat me, hugged me, though. He asked me what my name was and what am I doing? I said, I'm from Afghanistan. He said, he has friends who are from Afghanistan. And then before all that, he said, before we start everything, we want to get comfortable with the actors. So he sat mm-hmm. me down. He went over there. He made a little mm-hmm. food. There's a scene in the movie you would see that he's standing and cooking. It wasn't just part of the mm-hmm. scene. He was just okay. cooking. Okay. And once the scene was over, he's like, no, don't, 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 don't put this in the film. I just wanted to make now up something. Oh. And he made the food and he brought it and he sat and he's like, here, eat this. It's my, I always make this for my son, this and that. And all this. So he made me as comfortable as possible. Hello, Mr. Hi, how are you? How was it we, our first scene together? I am very good. You're doing very well. Okay. You're a newcomer. You're very good. Very, very good. And, I- and then with Mithun, I had my uh, good 20 days of shooting because he was, he was really old. It was really tough for him to walk around. Mm. Mm. knee injury mm. and all of that so they had to finish his scenes first and then we had to start with the second one which was with Anitaji and uh, Shakti Kapoor mm. and God what I got over there on the first scene I had is like the first scene I walk in I'm angry I, I, I smash my fist on the table and I have to scream at Shakti Kapoor mm. <laughs> and <laughs> I walk in and I'm in character and they haven't even made me meet Shakti Kapoor he just came on the set and he's like I'm ready I read everything Mm. and bring in the actor and I, I read all of my lines I've been practicing since morning and the guy is like we're ready for your shot and you get in and I walk in and I'm all angry and the, the things that I'm angry he calls my father and I'm supposed to get in there and I'm screaming at him and I'm just gonna uh, hit everything over the mm. table and like or hit the bottle and the water splashes on his face mm-hmm. and the anger has to be there I, I get with all of that with me and I walk in furiously and I Get in, and I'm like, oh no, I can't do this. There's this Shakti Kapoor over there. Can I shake your hand? He's like, get me back in the scene. <laughs> and uh, I tried once, mm. twice, it failed. And so I'm like, no, I've, I've got to go meet him. I, I can't do this. Yeah. Just, I've seen these, this guy on all of the comedy movies that I ever watched in Bollywood while I grew up. And this guy was my favorite. So I went there, I hugged him, I sat with him, and I talked to him. In this scene, he asked character was chewing this thing. So mm. he got that thing out of his little box and he's like, here, take this. And I put it in my mouth. And he's like, no, no, chew, chew. No one was supposed to swallow or spit it. No, spit. And <laughs> It all got red and I spat that thing. Then I got comfortable to the next scene I did was for me meeting all of these big stars because mm. I'm also I'm all from Afghanistan. We mm. all have seen them on on, mm. on the big screens yeah. or maybe on our cinemas and it was yeah. crazy for me the minute uh, Anil Kapoor was doing the judge scene uh, when I walked in. My character was supposed to be broken and devastated, uh-huh. and you know, uh-huh. he's guilty or something. He walks in, I see Anil Kapoor, I lost it. So, you know, every time I would walk into a scene, I see another star. I was like, I can't do this. For you guys, it's easy. You guys work every day for me. It's just uh-huh. like, it's like meeting everybody I've ever seen. Movies I've yeah. seen him in No Entry with Salman Khan and all the fantastic actors. Yeah. So, yeah, well, it was. It was, it was 
It was a great experience, I would say. I want everyone in the world to experience a day like this where they'd have to work with their favorite heroes. But um, what was something you learned uh, from them by working with them? What was the things that you learned with them by working with them? Um, well, I'd say individually they had different kind of uh, approach to when it comes to acting. Like, Mithin would mostly tell me that their uh, acting is not all about what's on your face, it's what your body actually reacts to. Mm. So he taught me how to slow down and then have your body feel that moment because, uh, let's just say for example, you're really angry. So I don't want you to be angry with your shoulders down and your hands down or your hands on your waist. You know, let's try to see when you get angry for real, don't you feel like you, your, your head goes down a little when you speak mm -hmm. and your shoulders go a little up and your chest is I like you feel that. So you don't have to show it on your face. You just got to like move your body. If you're sad, mm. your shoulders are a little up. If you're happy, you're like all out. All of that's to his body. And then when I met the... Um, I know, and he's like, now when you speak, your dialogues slow down mm. and feel what you're saying. Slow down. Don't go like, uh, I have to ask, I have to just slow down and go like, and then make it much more slower and slower until you understand it, you feel it. And then mm -hmm. when you get over there, you won't even feel like you're trying to remember your line. You just said, I know what I have to say to this guy, but I'll say it from my heart. I say it the mm. way I want to say it. And from Shakti Kapoor, I think I just learned how to abuse much more better in Hindi. You know, he taught me <laughs> this crazy slang <laughs> abuses that was on the set. There were women as well, and they'd go like, you know, like I don't care. This is what you gotta say. That's what you gotta say. And he was screaming, and he was funny. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you learn a lot on the set when you're with these actors. Was there a particular scene that was challenging for you to do, or that you had to reshoot a few times? Um, uh, the actress I was working with, uh, it was also her second film, right? So she wasn't much of an expert, you guys call it. And, uh, there was this one scene where, uh, we are coming back from this metro station and it, we shot the, it was supposed to be shot in the evening by like six, seven or eight. Mm. It was supposed to be a sundown, but then we missed that and, was the last day that we had the location for ourselves and the next day they were supposed to shoot somebody else's mm. film. They're like, no, we have this until morning and we can't mm. figure it out. We'll just, we'll just fake the uh, sundown. We'll put lights and everything, but you got to do the scene. Mm -hmm. It was around 3 a.m., Diana. Mm. And I, I was already messed up because everything I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and by <laughs> 6, your hair and makeup's done and then you get on the yeah. set. Then you mm -hmm. work until night. And mm -hmm. then they asked to do a little shift extra because mm -hmm. then again, I knew if I would start shooting at three, I would finish by five. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mm -hmm. sleep that day. I just have to get to the next set and start shooting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's 3 a.m. And we're doing this last bit of a scene where I just drop her with the motorcycle and she just she's sleeping on my shoulder. And mm -hmm. I go like, get up, we're here. Mm -hmm. And she's like, nah, well, I, I miss you. I want to stay there forever. And that that's that's it. That's it. And uh, it's it's like a ten second scene or whatever. So we got all ready, and I'm all in costumes, and it's this heavy hairspray and makeup mm. and everything. And she she comes and she sets with this one dress that's long, right? It's got all the dubata and the mirrors and everything. And she sits there on the bike, and I, I'm driving, and she's like, when mm, really we got to the scene, and I'm saying my lines, and she's like, mm, no, no, like what happened? Uh, the wind on the bike, it just brushed all the, the hair on my face. No, mm. not this scene. Let's do another one. And then I do another one. She's like, no, no, but, but in my dress, you see from here, it's like, it's like, you can see this little pin from yeah. here. I said, one more time. Again, we come in and I say my line, the minute she said one more time, she said, oh my mm -hmm. God, no, in this scene, it doesn't look well because my makeup, I'm like, you know, if you act well, the audience <laughs> will not notice anything. <laughs> Uh, she got upset, she started crying, she went to her mm -hmm. makeup room. And mm -hmm. everybody on the set's like, we gotta shoot this, uh, yeah. go back and apologize. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> she was upset, and I'm not in the mood, I want to sleep, yeah. I, I've, I haven't slept in like a good three, four days, and I'm like, oh god, how do I get out of it? Yeah. Uh, I went back to her, I apologized, and she cried, so she like, oh, all her makeup is mm -hmm. messed up, so she had to wash up again, makeup again, so by 4 or 5 a.m., we're doing the last scene, it was done. The minute it was done, it's like, no, get your other change, we're going to the other side.
दिल की ये चाहत है Now that the film has been out, um, what has been the reaction of the people about the film and your role in particular? What has people said? I'd say we scored a good eight point one in IMDb, which was quite well, mm-hmm. not bad. Uh, I've seen a lot of films fail on that first go. The The Times of India had reviews about it. The other uh, channels like Zoom Entertainment and all had reviews. Well, they had their own reviews of the way up to say it. But I think uh, the people really wanted me to be out there at the promotions. Mm. They wanted me yeah. to be there as an actor. All the other offers that I'm getting from other the uh, the other producers out there, I'm just it's crazy. It's just that I'm not in India right now, mm. and I can't make it. Yeah, but until I get there, I'm just going to say that the audience reaction was insane. The people from Afghanistan has showed their love, and I wouldn't just say it was one of a success that I feel like it was one of my success, my own personal. I feel mm. like I've I've won this the success I could share with the rest of the world, with all of the mm. Afghans who mm. always wanted to have a dream but just did not pursue it to give them a little hope and say that yeah, one day we will be able to do something like that. Though because he can do it, we can do it too. Just like that, for me, it just feels like what I've achieved. This wasn't just for me; it was for mm. the rest of the nation to realize that we are not less than any other one in the world. Which is no, of course. Greatest. What has people said about your acting in particular? Do you do you have do you remember any of the feedback that people have said about your acting or your role in particular? Yeah, um, at times of India wasn't that kind on me on that. But Ian Bidi said, "Well, since it was his first time, he was just it was a medium performance out from Nawab. We wouldn't expect much more from him. There was higher expectations, but he just did as well. He was, was mm. well. Times of India was very unkind. Uh, Zoom TV was being very fair on the fact mm. that it says that we've seen a lot of the great stars today who had their first films, and a lot of these great actors who are great actors today. Just that once you get on the platform out there you just realize that you just you know it's mm. your first time you get nervous i feel like even as a personally if you ask me on my uh, abilities of acting i think i've mm-hmm. done a decent uh, mm. performance but, but i feel like the second movie that it's going to come and accordingly i'll be able to do uh, better what's your most fondest memories from doing anaria's back your most fondest memories your moments uh i think the scene that i have with nathan when we're both um crying was mm. very unique for us because there was a there was this last day on the set and we wanted to do the scene where he's uh when i'm leaving the house and he's crying and then i suddenly apologize and he shows me. Mm. So the interval of the film is depending on that scene and it was so beautiful because it, most of the stuff was not part of the script mm-hmm. yeah it was yeah it, it, it was all like um added on later to it because we just felt it was so much in the scene that we hugged and cried and we looked around and all of those tears dripping wasn't just uh, us trying to do a scene we were just mm. like you know it was naturally happening and it was crazy and we hugged it out mm. and by the time the camera was also caught we just kept hugging and crying and the way he was trying to say goodbye and i was trying mm. to feel like he's leaving i'll never see him again after i don't know which movie i'm gonna see him yeah so we did we did have that one moment and everybody started clapping while they were done but we just kept holding on mm-hmm. to that hug and <laughs> we got out and i shook his hand and he changed all of his clothes and got out of costume and then he sat mm. and he I uh, had a video chat with my sister my sister was crazy going on. I was like I want I want to talk to him I want to let him talk and I was like hold on we talk to my family as well mm. he did everything that he could and then he wrote me this little piece of paper wow. that he wished me great luck for my uh rest of the stuff that's coming up and then just wrap that kept it to myself and he left it was the best moment mm. that I had while I was shooting the film I think I can imagine um in your case um like everyone said to you perhaps everyone said to you it's not possible you know the dream that you have um what would you say to them now now that they've seen you and you've achieved this no, i don't want to be rude by saying what comes in my mind right now but i w- i would just say that 
Um, we need people like that. And I think we need people like that in our life just to prove ourselves. Mm-hmm. That, no, we mm-hmm. can't do it. If somebody says it's not possible, we say, no, it is. Watch, we do it. Mm-hmm. And then once you do it, they call back and they go like, congratulations on the inside. The voice goes like, you see, yeah. I told you I'll do it. <laughs> I told you I'll do it. <laughs> uh, if you if you were given the opportunity, what other actors or actresses would you want to work with in the future? Yeah, that's a wonderful question. Um, uh, I would love to share a screen with uh, senior Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, one of my favorites who has just passed away, I saw rest in peace, was Rishi Kapoor that mm. I was dying to work with as he was a great actor. I saw mm. his last with Agni Patos with Ritik mm-hmm. Roshan and he did a wonderful day. And I was like, I would do anything to get on the set with this guy because he was like mm. the king of acting, you know, just mm. got so much into method that he wasn't acting no more on the screen. Mm. It was just him. Uh, and on the third one, I would love to share a action movie scene with uh, Ritik Roshan. Mm. Yeah, like they recently had war and they had Ritik with Tiger Shroff. Yeah. I would love to do a second uh, season of that thing. And this would be me against Ritik Roshan. Would be a, I would kill for it. <laughs> okay. And apart from acting, what other hobbies or interests do you have? Uh, I paint. Oh, I paint okay. Wait. Um, look, look, I paint. <laughs> I you painted, painted that? I paint. Uh, wow, that's, that's really amazing. Superhero series when they had uh, mm. Spider Man coming in as the new uh, wow. superhero kid. No, well, it's really I painted good. this and it came really good because there's a picture of a a mythologic picture where it's like a, 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 there is a birth of a new uh, hope, mm-hmm. and the rest of the people are just having a funeral while they're dragging the rest of the bodies. So mm-hmm. I thought maybe I'll just change that into other superheroes having a funeral and the birth of a new star is Spider-Man. So. Okay. So is that the only hobby or interest you have? Painting? I, I paint. I um, I love to dance now. I love to dance. <laughs> and uh, I like singing a lot. I just like to sing. Oh, wow. I have a terrible voice, but I love singing. Obviously, after this film, you said that you had two other films as well that you're going to be in. So what can you tell us about those films, like maybe the narrative or what type of film it is or, you know, who are the stars? What can you tell me about your other projects that you've got upcoming? Um, not much, but all I can tell you, because I don't know, the producer's going to kill me. I can <laughs> tell you that the next movie is going to be an action film uh-huh. and it's going to be shot in Europe. And that's all I could say. That's all about- I could say. And what about the third one? Do you know anything about the third one? Uh, no, I, I can't even talk about the third one. <laughs> I can't even talk about the third one, sorry. Give me a message that you want to deliver to your fans that have watched your movie and just love your acting. First, can I, can I, can I go just giving the message to uh, the people of Afghan and all the youth? I want to start with that by saying it, that, that please uh, uh, keep the people who has negative uh, effects in your life and your career. Keep those people. Keep them even closer to you. Like they said, that one saying that you have to keep your enemies closer. Keep them close to you. Let them uh, uh, tell you what's wrong with you. Let them hate you because they're being really honest. They're being mm-hmm. honest, dude. So when, when you said that you know you, you can't do this or you look a certain way or that thing doesn't look good on you, it's just that they mm-hmm. hate you. But also to be really honest, a lot of people now try to pretend to be nice to you or they don't mm-hmm. try to pretend to be a nice human. So they just mm-hmm. were like, no, everything looks good on you, but then it's just not being honest. So mm-hmm. keeping haters around you is wonderful. Uh, uh, get rid of the naysayers. It's always good when they say that you can't do something or you shouldn't. Uh, it's never been happened, so you can't do mm-hmm. it or nobody has ever done it before. And it's very important to keep people like this in your life because they keep motivating you every day. They keep fighting for yourself. So believe in If you believe in something, go ahead and do it. Keep believing in it. If you fail, keep getting back at it and uh, just, just just keep pushing it through, you know, keep pushing mm-hmm. through whenever you fall down. And for the fans, I'm just going to say, wait until the next movie comes in. I, I hope you guys like this one, but we're having uh, something bigger come next year, hopefully. And by then, I think we'll, we'll, then we'll come and talk about the reviews then. Fair cool. enough. Cool.
Thank you so much, Nao Khan. Thank you okay. for your time. Take care. You're welcome. You take care as well. Bye-bye.